Now there's something I like to actually add to my table header elements that gives both some semantic meaning and some more styling hooks for the future. And that is this property that we could add to our th element that basically says this th element, it, it says that this whole column is of this value. So the way we do that now what I mean is, I mean, let me just be clear, hopefully I, this makes sense. I want to tell HTML, I guess, that Brian Eno, Hank Williams, John Coltrane, Miles Davis, all these different values are all associated with this table header called artist. Now currently, this is visually almost representative because it's in a box, but semantically or from the code, they're not linked together. So if we ever wanted to make, like, do a styling hook to a whole column, maybe sometimes you wanted to have like uh, one one column, every other column be a different color for so visually it looks it looks uh, easier to figure out what's what. That would be a quick way of doing it. But again, like I said, it's adding semantic value and uh, possibly some aesthetic hooks and it's so easy to set up that it's totally worth doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my HTML and in the table header section and all the stuff nested within the T head tags similar similar to what I did to table I added a summary in here which was kind of uh, an attribute that I could add to the table element I'm going to add this attribute called scope to the th element. Now here's the th element table header. I'm going to go right in between the h and the greater than sign. I'm going to put a space and I'm going to start typing my attribute. My attribute is going to be scope. As soon as I put in ch, first thing that comes out scope. There we go. I'll add that. And now the value I'm going to add to scope is col, c o l, for column. Now once I add that, I've just told HTML that all of these elements over here are related to that table header. So all the, everything Brian Eno, Hank Williams, John Coltrane, uh, Miles Davis, and Muddy Waters are all within the artist. Well, actually, technically, no, I didn't say that. I just said that all the that artwork is within the same thing. But once I add it, I'm going to associate all of each each table data each one of those TD elements to the table header and that's essentially again that's essentially all it takes to hook those up and it doesn't have any aesthetic here's what it looks like before we added the the scope value here's what it looks like after same thing so there's no aesthetic effects that that the scope does but it does uh, from the back end perspective, lump all like basically group all this this whole column as referring to the artwork, this whole column being the artist, song, so on and so forth, which down the road if we want if we needed something to link these things in with, that's what we would use.